guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my braids i'm not going to be doing a lot of talking because i feel like it's pretty much self-explanatory so please just pay attention pay really, really close attention um the hair that i use is super x braids i cut it into two and i use four packs um I'm gonna go ahead, of course, as you guys can see, I'm just uh, moisturizing my hair and then I'm gonna condition. I'm just gonna detangle it before I get into braiding. So now I'm gonna go ahead and section it all up and then get into the braiding. I use jam for my braids. It's jam, guys. I'm using jam for my braids. I'm gonna section it and then I'm gonna hold it with the clip. I'm gonna section as many parts as I can and then go back in and braid. So when braiding your, hair, your own hair, I, you have to start off as cornrows as you do with doing cornrows. If I was doing cornrows, this is how I would start it, like from the, I don't know how to explain it. And then I will, you know, switch it up as in doing box braids. I don't, I really don't know how to explain it, guys. Ignore the, the voices in the background. <laughs> if I don't do it now, I won't be able to do the voiceover, so. Just ride along with the voices in the background. It's just Puppy and the kids. Um, so yeah, just keep writing. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. So because I am going to curl the ends, I'm just going to braid the hair um, past my actual hair and then I'm going to make a knot. That's the that's all I am doing. There's no like, this. I feel like this video is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just braiding the braids past my own hair and then I am going to make a knot. That's it. Of course, it's not going to be easy to do, especially in the back, but as you keep practicing, you're going to get it. I've been doing this for the longest time, like, since I was, like, I started with my own hair since I was, like, 18, so I've been doing this for a really long time, and even, like, sometimes it still hurts, but as you keep doing it, you know, you do get better. Practice makes perfect, guys. So I think I got a um, comment asking how do you do you know your parts so that you don't have too much 
hair on the head I would um, tell you just when you're doing your braids you want to make sure the parts in the middle are a little bit bigger than the ones in the front reason being you don't want it to be too much hair on your head so you will have to do the middle a little bit bigger because nobody really sees the middle not too big where like it's ugly but big enough where like you know you don't have too much hair on your head and then you will do the front smaller the parts in the front smaller to make it look fuller unless you want it really really full then you go ahead and you part it the same part throughout the whole head but just keep in mind that that's gonna give you a lot of work to do and a lot of braids on your head I'm done with the back I like how it was looking and I am gonna move on to the front It's the last braid. You guys have no idea how excited I was to finish this. Um, I have a big head, so y'all have no idea how excited I was. So this is the finished look. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and braid the ends. You want to braid it from where the um, knot is at. Just braid it down all the way down. Make sure the braid is tight. If you want the braids to be really tight, if you really want a tight curl, and you want the braid to be a little bit loose, if you want a looser curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and section all of it and braid it into, you know, just big jumbo braids and braid it all the way down. I am done braiding them down. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and dip it in hot water. 
please if you have never done this before get some help also make sure you have a towel on hand you can also sit the cup the hot water on the table and then dip the hair in there because if you hold it like I am doing what you're gonna end up doing is probably tilting the cup and having the hot water spill on you and we do not want that I don't want you to burn yourself and say I saw Maddie do it on YouTube and <laughs> that's why I did it. Also make sure you're only dipping the hair in the water and stopping at where the knots are at um, because you do not want to dip your hair, your actual hair in hot water. All well done, I'm going to just put some mousse in my hair. Somebody asked in the other video what I put in the hair, it's just mousse and hairspray that's all I put in there I am all done thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share let me know what you think and I will see you beautiful people in my next tutorial bye